Howdy everybody, this is Bake with IronThroneCraft.com. Today we're going to talk about the best pets in Iron Throne. And I don't just mean for defending or attacking or single type defense or anything like that. I mean for everything. Been getting a lot of questions about pets lately, specifically about defense, but also quite a bit about attacking and everything else like that. Uh, this latest True World showed that pets are a big deal. Uh, that's what we picked up on from hitting folks and hitting the castle and everything else. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to tell you about the best pets for offense, defense, strongholds, hero, I mean monster attack, everything else like that. So we're going to start out with attacking. Um, you don't want to watch, if you don't care about attacking, then skip forward a little bit and we'll get into defense here in, in just a minute. But, uh, and then the other stuff as well. First things first, you want to go with single type pets if you are sending single type troops. The single type pet has the most attack for your single type dudes, and it also has the most debuffs, other than the Cerberus, but we'll get into that in a second. So you see here, at level 15, you get 150% of each type debuff for what you're hitting against, what you care about. And uh, you also get 500% attack. You get some additional damage to tier 1, enemy, uh, tier 1 and tier 2 enemy troops as well. So, for attacking, those are the best with single type. Satyrs are the best if you're sending mixed type troops or if you don't uh, know what they have defending with, something else like that. Those are going to be your two best options, are your single type uh, single type pet or satyrs. You are going to want to go with whatever has the most debuff. So if you don't have a very high level single type pet and you do have higher level satyrs, then you want to go with those. You want to split up your upgrades on these things so that you can have all of your heroes with these because what you are interested in when you're attacking is debuffs 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 that's what you're interested in this is the Cerberus uh, this is hard to get the only way you got it is if you have a crap load of super passes see mine's only level 6 but once it gets up to level 10 when you send the dragon you get additional HP debuff when it gets up to level 15 you get HP and defense debuff only with your dragon it's a lot of debuff with your dragon. So if you're soloing with the dragon and you've spent a whole crap load so you've got a bunch of Cerberus, that's the way to go. Main aspect of attack pets though is debuffs, debuffs, debuffs. That's what you want. For rallying, Kansas is pretty good if you're hitting the, uh, the central thing, like sanctuaries, the castle, the, I mean, sorry, the capital, anything else like that. Kansas is good. Death Knight's not as good as Kansas, but it's still decent. Bottom line for attacking is you basically don't ever want to be sending those blue single type pets. You want to break down and you want to go into that. Defense. Lava Turtle is king. Absolute king. The Lava Turtle is the best defensive pet in the game by a long shot. It's got the most defense and HP. That's what you're looking for. It also has troop attack debuff. Even if it didn't have that troop attack debuff on it and it just had the defense and the HP, Lava Turtle is going to win. That said, single type pets, as we've discussed in other uh, videos, have a high amount of defense and HP for that single type. It is also a lot easier to level those guys up than it is to level up Lava Turtles. So, when you are figuring out what pets you want to use on defense, if you are single type, even if you're not single type, you're going to want to, a lot of times, throw in some of those blue pets. The Chimera, a lot of people are drawn to it because it's purple, it's not blue. And uh, the thing is, about a Chimera, there's an old adage in video games like this. In video games of this genre. Which is, debuffs are great when you're attacking. When you're defending, you care more about boosting all of your troops than you do about debuffing their troops. You do want some debuffs on defense, that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is that Lava Turtle's king. Absolute king. The blues are good, but... For the most part, you're going to want to break Lava Turtles, not upgrade them all the way. That way you can have Lava Turtles spread out across all of your guard captains you're defending. For troop training, the Fawn is the best pet times a million. Obviously. It's the Immortal one. There's also a green pet down here that is, uh, that is good with troop training speed. But for the Fawn, you see that bonus troop training right there? You get 6% bonus troop training from the Fawn. What that means is when you make a set of troops... You get 6% of them extra for free. They're a little banner pop-up that says that. That's at level 15. Even if you don't have them at level 15, doesn't matter. It's better for you to have two level 1 fawns on your training hero than it is for you to have a level 2 fawn on one of them and then a green one on the other side. 
So make sure you are getting as many fawns as you can. That's what a lot of this video is about. Uh, for crafting, you gotta go for Forsaken Frost. There's nothing you can do about it. That's the only pet that there is for that. Uh, same thing for healing, is there's only one pet that you can do for that as well. Uh, so for gathering, the best pet, obviously this video has a lot of surprises in it. The best pet's the snail. Um, <clears throat> that said, the ogre is actually quite good. The ogre has uh, good gathering speed and good capacity, and that's what you're concerned about. So if you don't have many snails, Ogres are great. You can get a lot of them because they're green, so don't be afraid to use ogres. Just know that the snails are better if you have them leveled up, but once again, those are pretty hard to obtain because they're immortal. Um, so what I'm getting at is that now there's a lot of pet selection chests that are out there. And so whenever you have a pet selection chest that you're trying to figure out what you want, fawns are an excellent, excellent, excellent option if you don't already have high level fawns. Those are very, very good because everybody needs more troops, period. Everybody in the game needs more troops. If you already have a lot of fawns, Lava Turtles are king for defense. They were the first immortal pet released. They're still one of the best pets because they are really, really good on defense. So for attacking both monsters and strongholds, the Mandragora is the way to go. Specifically strongholds, troop stronghold attack 270%, also stronghold march speed, you also get all of those hero stats, and then as I'll show you in just a second, when you level the Mandragora up, you're going to get some hunting march speed as well. Uh, so, see at level 15, you got 250% hunting march speed. That actually comes in at level 5. So it's really good to level up several, if you can get a couple Mandragoras, level up multiple of them, spread them out. If you're having a hard time killing high-level bloody strongholds, the best thing you can possibly do is level up multiple Mandragoras and spread them out on your heroes. Rather than having one level 15 Mandragora or one level 8 Mandragora, you have two level 3 Mandragoras. Stick them on your main hero. Winter Tiger is also really, really good for hunting monsters. Not great for strongholds. You don't want it for strongholds. That Castle March speed is going to make you hit them faster, but the only thing Winter Tiger has is the hero basic attack. It has hunting March speed, but then it has additional damage and raid. So Winter Tiger, because it's coupled with hero basic attack and additional damage and raid, the Winter Tiger is the best raid uh, pet that you can get. However, Mandragora is going to be the best stronghold attack monster, or <laughs> I keep saying monster, the best stronghold pet that you can get is going to be Mandragora. So as I was saying, Blood Moon's coming up this weekend. The best thing you can do to farm bloodies quickly or farm strongholds quick quickly is to spread those Mandragoras out across all of your heroes. So, pet selection chests, if you are going, if you're trying to decide which pets you want to get out of those pet selection chests, I think that number one priority should be a fawn. If you don't have a lot of fawns, you should get fawns. Number two is Lava Turtle. Uh, on a side note, this Ice Troll is actually a badass in terms of hero stats. So if you are having a hard time killing higher level monsters, higher level elites, level up Ice Trolls as well. Mandragoras, Ice Trolls. Those are the guys that you want to use to hit monsters. Uh, Winter Tigers are alright too. Uh, honorary mention on defense for the Death Worm, which is what I'll show you here. This is him at level 15. The only time you want to wear a Death Worm on defense is if you're worried about getting rallied. Even if you are worried about getting rallied, a Death Worm at level 15, one of the newer pets, reduces enemy rally stats by quite a bit. Gives you more attack when you're defending your castle and gives you some attack debuff when you're defending castle as well. But notice that it doesn't have defense and HP. And what you are concerned about when you're defending your castle is not letting your defense and HP get zeroed. That's what you care about. So the only time you really want to run Death Worm is if you're such a massive account that you only worry about getting rallied. And you want to debuff their uh, attack because you know that you are going to be not defense and HP zeroed. So... All I'm getting at with this video is the best pets in Iron Throne, for the most part, they're the immortal ones. However, you can min-max them. Min-max your Mandragoras so you can hunt strongholds really quickly. If you are using pet selection chests and you don't know what to pick out of them, you don't know what the best option is, hopefully this video can help you select which one you want. Mandragoras for hunting strongholds and for hero attack and everything else like that. Fawns for troop training, they are absolutely overpowered at troop training. You get absolute free troops out of them. If you don't have lava turtles for all of your guard captains yet, 
that needs to be very, very, very high on your priority list. And then last but not least, if you've got all of those, just go Satters because they're really good for everything. So hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Check the website for the article and uh, like and subscribe and that stuff.